questions. Remember, talk a lot. Jordan, this is Jared McDonald with the Daily News here in Bowling Green. Um, you know, coming off that loss to Louisville uh, and then coming in here against the Mississippi Valley State team that you guys are expected to be, you know, how good was it and how important was it to um, kind of have the performance that you guys did and come away with the win that you guys did today? Uh, it was good. We just wanted to uh, bounce back, uh, work on a few things that we didn't do well in the uh, Louisville game. So, yeah, I think we uh, bounced back pretty well. And, you know, those things that you wanted to work on and, and I guess what were they and what was the biggest key in, in this one tonight? I would say uh, sharing the ball more. Uh, I think we had how many people score? 12 people score. So uh, a lot of guys did a lot of different things tonight. And uh, again, others involved, that was point of emphasis. Uh, you know, obviously the, the situation allows for it some, but the bench tonight, 50 points, uh, that's over half the points. You know, coming in the game off the bench, how much confidence do you personally have in, in the rest of the guys off the bench to contribute like the, the way you did today? Um, personally, I have a lot of confidence. Uh, coach just tells me to come in and be aggressive, and he's telling the other guys the same thing. So when we come in, we're just trying to pick up the energy. You know, rebounding the ball tonight, um, you guys you guys did really good. You won the rebounding battle 52 to 21, uh, and the team had 21 offensive rebounds. That matches their total rebounds. You know, was that a point of emphasis or something that you guys felt like you would have an advantage on coming into this one? Uh, yeah, definitely. That's a, a point of emphasis every game, uh, crashing the boards. Uh, I think we did that really well tonight. Uh, you guys are 8 of 26 from three tonight, 22 of 31 from the free throw line. I know that's coming off of a, a rough shooting game at Louisville. Uh, how do you feel like you guys did in that area tonight? And, and what's it going to take to improve in, in some of those areas? Um, we obviously could have shot the ball better. A lot of shots weren't falling tonight. Uh, we know we're a better shooting team than that. So, I mean, we're just going to keep getting shots up in practice and just keep moving forward. Jordan, this is uh, Nick Kieser from the College Heights Herald. You guys have a lot less turnovers this evening. What was something that coach was telling you guys prior to this game? Uh, just taking care of the ball. Um, not having unforced turnovers or anything like that. Uh, Jordan, Jared with the Daily News again. Um, you know, with a lot of new guys coming in, uh, like Davion and, and Luke and, and Charles coming back, a lot of the attention got put on some of those guys and, and what they would add to this team. But Kevin, he's come in here at Juco transfer and he's really performed well, especially tonight. What's it been like watching him? Uh, Kev's a hard worker. We know he's going to give 110 when he step on the floor. Uh, so tonight was just him showing everybody else what we already knew he could do. And, you know, uh, Originally, when the day started, we thought you guys were going to play again um, a week from now, but now it's Thursday against Gardner-Webb. You know, a shorter turnaround, but is that something you guys like and, and are, are looking forward to this week? Uh, we're definitely looking forward to it. Um, just got to turn around and get ready for them. I'm all set. Um, yeah, thank you, Jordan. Yeah. Uh, for questions. Hey, Kevin, this is Jared McDonald with the Daily News. Um, big game for you tonight off the bench. You know, what was the biggest key in uh, being able to have the success that you did tonight against this Mississippi Valley State team? You got a lot of, team, you got a lot of guys on the team that can perform on any given night. And, like, I didn't know I was going to come and perform the way I did. I just came out energy like I do every game. And it's just so happened to be me that performed the way I performed. You know, you mentioned that energy. It seems like when you get into the game, you, you make a lot of hustle plays, and that's uh, how you get a lot of stats. I guess, what's your mindset when you come into a game off the bench uh, and, and try to just help the team out in any way? What's your mindset I mean, that, there? Well, I mean, that's what I love to do. I love to help the team any way I can, whether it's passing the ball to get a assist, a hockey assist, whether it's diving on the floor for a loose ball. And, like, coach preaches defense, so it's like, when I come in, it's like, that's all that's on my mind. Defense first and offense later. Kevin, this is uh, Nick Kieser from the Call Tides Herald. Uh, a lot more bench points this evening. You know, what's something that you guys are going to take pride in moving forward as a bench? I mean, since uh, what was it, South Dakota, you can see that our bench comes in quick. 
and we got a lot of guys that can do a lot of different things. So it's like moving forward, we're just going to continue the same energy and continue like with what we were doing. Kevin, you had seven rebounds tonight, and the team out rebounds Mississippi Valley State 52 to 21, including 21 offensive rebounds for you guys. You know, was that an area that you felt like you guys had an advantage in coming in tonight? And what was it? What did it take to execute on the on the glass? Yeah, I feel every night, no matter who we play, I feel that's a mindset to out rebound of the team. And that's what we did today. So like moving forward, I feel like we should always have that mindset. I guess we'll be successful. And you know, for you personally, uh, what's this whole process been like? Um, you know, transferring in, um, and then working with this Western Kentucky team, you know, with a lot of players back, a lot of experience. What's it been like working with those guys throughout the fall and, and now five games in, you're performing like you are, have been? Yeah, it's definitely different from where I came from. Um, a lot of love to your coaches, managers, and players. It's like a home feeling, it's like a brotherhood over here. So it's like, at my, at my old school, it was a brotherhood over there. So the transition wasn't really that hard. And I'm really starting to like it. And, you know, um, last question I asked Jordan was about Thursday. That's not a game that was originally on the schedule uh, when today started. But um, I guess how much are you looking forward to not having to wait a whole week to, to get another game in? And what's it going to take to have another strong performance on Thursday? Yeah, that's what it's all about. Like, with this COVID, this pandemic and everything, we just want to play as many games as we can. So the fact that we have a game on Thursday is just it's great. I'm all set. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll have Coach on here in a bit.